Hey everyone, and welcome back to my monthly Amazon haul. This is not sponsored by Amazon. I just need to make that very clear because sometimes people wonder, and you should never wonder when you're watching my videos. If a video is sponsored, I will say it very clearly in the first 30 seconds or so, and it'll be at the very top of the description box because I'm excited when a brand wants to work with me and I am not going to hide it. So I have, I believe, 17 things to catch you up on. Some are products I've mentioned but haven't shared with you yet, so there's some follow-up a lot of new stuff. I thought I'd be sharing my Amazon Prime Days haul, but I realized most of the stuff that I ordered are gifts, and so I really don't wanna share it here. And then the one thing I thought I ordered, I don't know what happened, I gotta go back and look. I thought I ordered that new, to me anyway, the Shark version of the Dyson Airwrap. I didn't, so I'm gonna order it and I'm gonna play with it, and next month we can talk about it during that Amazon haul. But today, it's a whole lot of clothing, a handful of beauty, and I hope that you are going to enjoy this. If you're looking for the links, they are in two places. They are down in the description box, usually below my head, where the text will say more, and I'll also copy that and put the whole thing at the top of the comment section so it is easy for you to find. One more thing, if you think I look a little bit different, there's a few things going on. One, I haven't slept through the night in like two weeks, and it's taking a toll. Two, I got rid of all of my fake tan, and I don't even recognize myself in the mirror. So I may be adding the tanner back in tonight. We shall see. Okay, let's go with some updates. So the first thing I wanna share with you is this Spanx Air Essentials Lookalike. And I wanna stress lookalike. I shared this with y'all in last month's haul. I mentioned that I'd ordered it and it had not come in yet. It turned out to be a bestseller before I even shared it with you. If you're looking at it as a cute loungewear set, as a standalone purchase and not compare it to the Spanx version. It is a great loungewear set. The price is great, the color options are fantastic. I love that the pants option has pockets while the Spanx does not. However, if you are purchasing this with the idea that this will completely replace the Spanx version, they do not compare. There is something incredibly magical about whatever that fabric is that makes up the Spanx Air Essentials pieces. It's super lightweight, extremely soft, almost cloud-like, but it's not heavy, it drapes beautifully. The price point is outrageous, I get that, so there is that, but if you're looking to compare apples to apples, you can't, they are very different. The advantages of the original Spanx version, other than the price, which is, I will admit, it's a deterrent. The fabric, not comparable at all. And for me, and I know a lot of you because you've made mention in the comments, there is no petite or tall option in the Amazon. And these are a little long for me, and I'm right at five foot four. If you're any shorter than me, you're gonna need to wear these with a heel. The zipper doesn't compare, the color is a lot wider. So if you're comparing one to one, it isn't a one to one comparison. If you just want a cute loungewear set that's a great price, comes in a ton of colors, this is a great option. The other piece I ordered thinking I could get you a lookalike version of the Spanx Air Essentials Cocoon Cardigan is this one. And I will say this is a lot closer if you're trying to compare apples to apples. It's still not exactly the same and that's okay. I mean, it's close enough. I would say the big difference is the fabric still isn't quite there as far as the lightness, and the incredible softness, but this is a lot closer. The Amazon version runs a lot bigger. It's a lot more oversized and it runs a lot longer. That's not a negative or a positive, it's just, it is. Obviously there's way more color options. Again, the price point is fantastic. So I would not hesitate in ordering either of these. I think they're great. I just wanna make you aware that they're not exactly the same. Now I'm showing you this cardigan with something I did order during Prime Days. I am wearing something that I did purchase during Amazon Prime Days. It's this long sleeve V-neck sort of button up shirt. I already own this in a light brown, in black and white. I love it so much. I was gonna order more anyway. I think it is an essential wear alone piece for the early fall and it's fantastic for layering under all the cardigans and blazers. It's just a really nice, casual, easy to wear top and I love it so much. I ordered it in a couple more colors. I got it in army green and bright pink and I love them both. And I would say on these, they run true to size. And if you're wondering about everything I'm wearing with all these outfits, if I don't mention it here on the screen, they are listed, sizing, links, pricing, all that information, like the jeans I'm wearing, the shoes, all that, is down in the description box and in the comments too. Outfit number three should look familiar. I've shared this one before in a different color. The color I shared previously was Nutmeg. This one is called Dark Apricot. I'm not sure what's with the food names, but anyway, this is one of those things you will not regret. Whether you just wear it around the house, you're in a work from home situation, you want some more elevated loungewear, I would happily wear this out of the house, 
great travel outfit. I know we have a lot of travel coming up. Thanksgiving, all the holidays are right around the corner. This is great for road trips. Whatever traveling you're doing, it's fantastic. I want to order one more. There's a dusky blue that I have my eye on as well, but I would say these run true to size. And the only negative that I have to say about it is that it doesn't have pockets, but I can live. My favorite part of fall is probably the fact that it's legging season. And I have two outfits specifically I put together to wear with leggings. The first is this corduroy shirt. It's a little bit oversized. I feel like it's just long enough. It covers all the important things that you can get away with wearing this with leggings and you don't have to size up. I'm wearing this in a size small, but if you did want to do a little bit of a tuck and wear it with jeans or pants, or if you want to wear it open, almost like a shacket, are we still using that word? I'd like that word to just die soon, but shirt jacket, if you will, you can do that as well. As with all things, Amazon comes in all the colors. And then the other leggings outfit that I wanted to share with you, the star of the show here is this oversized, they're calling it a plaid cardigan. Now I have been told that this one is very much inspired by almost exactly looking free people cardigan. I can see that they look the same. I have never seen or touched the free people version. So I cannot tell you how they actually compare visually very much the same, obviously with the Amazon version, very much less expensive, a lot more color options. And this one is oversized. So a lot of the time, the appeal for some people anyway, a with free people is that their stuff runs oversized. For me, I actually find that kind of annoying and try to size down in most free people stuff. This particular option on Amazon, it's slightly oversized, but not to the max like free people likes to do. So if you're looking to duplicate exactly that same way oversized look, I would size up. I feel like just getting your true size is oversized enough. I'm getting sick of hearing that word. It's hard to say for sure one item is a standout, but this is a, towards the top of my favorites from this whole haul. I can see myself wearing this a lot in the upcoming months. Now we are getting into sweater weather. Well, we're getting into the sweater part of the haul. Honestly, the day I'm filming this, it's 92 degrees in San Antonio. So we're not there yet, but fingers crossed, soon. So the first sweater that I have to share with you, I'm pretty sure this is again, inspired by another retailer. I couldn't tell you which one. I just liked the sweater. There's a few brands on Amazon that now that I've been doing this for a while, I know to look for new releases. And this is one of them. This sweater is so very soft. It definitely looks more expensive than it is. This also runs true to size. I'm wearing it in a size small. It is absolutely one of the softest and coziest sweaters that I've tried on in a really long time. I cannot wait to wear this in real life. I do want to point out it could use a little bit of a steam. This one arrived just as I was starting to film. So you will probably see some wrinkles or creases in it. A little steam with my favorite steamer and it should be good to go. As we move on to outfit number seven, I want to point out that I'm wearing the same pair of jeans throughout. It is linked below. And if you watched my fall shoes video, then you will note that these jeans are a little too long with the ankle boots that I'm wearing with them. I don't always get it right. So there's two options here. I could cut that bottom hem off and make it more of a raw hem. These are actually from Gap and they are the regular length. I actually have sitting in my cart the petite version of this, which is I think what's gonna happen is so that I can wear them with different height shoes. Yes, I am that extra, but I just wanna point out I'm well aware that my jeans are a little bit too long and I'm okay with it, I don't care. I know I'm breaking rules, it's fine. Okay, on to outfit number seven, this hoodie, I think they call it soft touch or something like that. Um, this is part of the Amazon Essentials line sweater. This feels like cashmere. It is not cashmere. I believe it is machine washable, but the price point definitely shows that it is not cashmere. So if you want the feel of cashmere and either the price point is keeping you away or there's a lot of you who are actually allergic to cashmere, check this option out. Again, it runs, I would say, more true to size. I initially I thought, ooh, I should have sized up, but I really like that it's a little bit more of a regular, fit. I don't wanna say slimmer fit. We're so used to oversized. I feel like this is just, it fits nicely. If you wanted to wear it with leggings, maybe do go up one size, but I love the idea of layering this under a denim shirt or a jacket. You're gonna see it again in a little bit under a jacket comes in a bunch of colors, but I love this beautiful, a little bit off white color. It's so, so soft. I also love just the little details on it that make this look and feel really expensive, like the wider cuffs that have the ribbing and along the hem as well. Just all those little details make it look like you got it at Nordstrom, but you got it at Amazon. Outfit number eight, this is my favorite of all the sweaters I'm sharing with you today. There's just something about all the things came together. First of all, 
this color. I believe it's called Dark Camel. It comes in a whole bunch of other ones, but I really love this color. I feel it really warms up what I feel like is a very pale face right now. So I love this color on me. It is that same soft to the touch cashmere like feel, but it is not cashmere. And for those of you who are so sick of the front tuck or a side tuck, any kind of tuck, and you want to wear a shirt that's not tucked, I feel like this sweater hits at just the right point and hangs at just the right point. So hear me out on this. Sometimes it'll hit at that level, but it's too snug around the hips and it just looks awkward and you wanna pull it up or pull it down, but it drapes and kinda hangs a little bit away from the body. It gives some separation and it just hits at the perfect spot. And again, this is true to size. I did not size up, it is a size small. This is one I may have to put in another order for another color, I just love it that much. Now this next one, I have mixed feelings about. I tend to not love true turtleneck sweaters because I feel like they are choking me. I'm also not sure what to do with the color. So a lot of people are now saying you should fold it in, which is what I start off with. And then you can also, you know, wear it the normal way and fold it out or pull it over your head and just leave it sort of must and almost like a cowl neck look. There's a lot here. So when I saw this on the Amazon website, I ordered up a size. So I'm wearing a medium here thinking, oh, it's gonna be oversized and I'll wear it with leggings. Well, as you can see, it's looser fitting, but it's definitely not oversized. So this one runs pretty snug. And if you're looking for that big oversized fisherman's sweater, this is not gonna be it unless you go up a couple of sizes. So I wanted to let you know there, but the quality is beautiful. I love the cable knit all the way around. It's a great sweater. Just know, unless you want a very snug fit, definitely go up at least one size. And if you want an, a more oversized look, I'd say at least two. Okay, are we done with sweaters? We're done with sweaters. Ready for this one? Is it too soon to start talking about holiday? I don't think so. I like to plan. I love this silver sequin blazer. I talked about it, I believe in my Prime Days video, I was debating between the silver and the black. And I see a lot of black sequin options out there, but usually not silver. So I snatched this one up. This should look familiar because it's the same blazer that I have in camel and in pink in normal blazer fabric. This one is a little more expensive than those options because you know it's covered with sequins, but just a few things to note, the pockets, unlike the normal version of this blazer, are not functional. They're just there for show. And it's so lightweight and drapey and it moves. You think you're covered in sequins, it's gonna weigh down like a, like a heavy evening dress covered in sequins? No, this one is super lightweight. You're not gonna get overheated. It is lined, so you're not gonna get all scratchy with the sequins rubbing against you. I just kept it really simple, paired it with a white tank that happens to be from Amazon those same jeans, and this time I'm wearing them with my favorite silver platform heels. It's good for holiday. If I ever go to Vegas, it's a good Vegas look. Bachelorette party, I'm kind of past that, but some of you aren't, so I just wanna put it out there. It's a really fun look, and it's a much more affordable option than similar outfits that I've seen. I have a wool blend coat that I wear every winter. It's camel, it's beautiful. It is not available, and it's expensive and I'm constantly looking for another option for you, and I think I may have found the winner. So this is a double-breasted pea coat, and as you can see, I either need to take it to the cleaners or I need to just full-on iron it because I tried steaming it, and I steamed for a long time, and I could not get those wrinkles out. So I think you know, it came all folded and mushed up, once you take it maybe once to the cleaners for them to press it, you're probably good for the whole season. I just wanted to point that out there. I would say it runs true to size, slightly maybe oversized. I'm wearing it in a size small. It's a little on the pricier side than most things we see at Amazon, but it is you know, a very nice coat. It has a nice weight to it. It's lined, it has the pockets, it buttons, all the things. So if you're looking for a camel coat, although this comes of course in a lot of other colors, and you don't wanna pay two, three, four, seven hundred dollars this is a very, very nice option. Now, will it keep you warm? I don't know. Like I said, I'm wearing it today and it's 93 degrees, but all things being relative, I think this is a really nice option. I have two dresses to share with you. I'll talk about this one first. So I have been looking for alternatives to the Anthropology Somerset dress. It's a beautiful dress. It's very expensive and it sells out so quickly. And I found this one on Amazon and I was so excited. I shared this with you. I think, again, that last haul, it finally came in so worth the wait. I mean, look at how it shimmers in this light. And I'm just, the sun is setting. There's no artificial light happening here. And look at, I mean, it's beautiful. It comes in a lot of other colors, not quite as many as you're used to, maybe four other colors. This green though is gorgeous. I would say it runs true to size if a, don't size up, but it's very stretchy. This is all, I mean, it's very elastic-y. 
So it, it fits snugly, but I feel like it would really stretch as well. It doesn't have pockets. The Anthropology version does. I feel like the sleeves are a little bit longer, which I actually like. Doesn't have the button here or the, the hook and eye closure, but it also isn't cut as low. So, you know, is it an exact lookalike for the summer set? No, but I think it is an improvement in many ways other than the lack of pockets, but balance that out with the fact that this is $38 and the summer set is over 100. I think this one's a winner. And then the last dress that I wanna share with you, I'm just gonna pop in a picture of it. This dress, I love this dress, and this does come in other colors. Some people are thinking this is red. This is a very, very bright pink. As you can see, it comes with the belt, the self belt. I would say it runs true to size. If Yeah, I would say it runs true to size. I personally prefer it with some high boots just to cover up some of that leg. It's shorter, but not too short. I didn't feel like I needed to wear bike shorts underneath it if I needed to bend over. It's super comfortable, and I love how it straddles fall because it's corduroy, but it's short sleeve, so you can wear it now if you happen to live somewhere like Texas where it's still kind of warm. Kind of like this dress, you know, it's velvety, beautiful material, it, you know, it's fall material appropriate, but short sleeve, so it's a great option. And I love all the colors, but that bright pink was so fun. And I love that it has pockets. And if you wanna change it up a little bit, I'm talking about the pink dress now, take the belt off and add your own instead. So lots of great options. I have a few beauty products I wanted to catch you up on. So since I scrubbed off the fake tan, it's time to go back to my normal shades of foundation. That is if I decide to stay this color. And so I just ordered a L'Oreal True Match this has probably been my favorite foundation of 2023. I just, I adore it. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm wearing another foundation that I got on Amazon. It's the Face Atelier Foundation. I'll link it below, but honestly, if I could get the perfect match for my current skin tone, I, I prefer this, this finish. I just absolutely adore it. I tried N2, that was a little too light. I got the W2 to add a little warmth. It's better. I'm feeling like Goldilocks and I haven't found the perfect fit as far as shade, but this foundation, I just adore it. A couple of beauty tools I did pick up during Prime. It's not all that exciting, but this IT Cosmetics blush brush is the only bronzer brush that I have used for, oh gosh, I don't know, it's maybe a decade. I love it. So when I saw that it was in the Prime Day deals, I ordered a, another one. I can't believe I haven't done this sooner. So it's technically a blush brush, but look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is, this is a lot for my little tiny head. So I use it for bronzer, especially because of that angle. So it gets right under those cheekbones and just all the places. I swear I'm wearing bronzer, even though it doesn't look like it. So I love this. And then I will be honest with you, I'm getting really sick of trying to wash my beauty blenders, beauty sponges. It's a pain in the you-know-what. Like I already dislike very much having to clean my brushes. I wish we could find a self-cleaning brush. So when I saw these, pack of five or under $7, I thought this is, this is better than just trying to wash the existing ones. I didn't throw them out. I will eventually wash them. But this bought me, you know, at least a month or so. Well, longer than that. I'm digging myself a hole. I really like these. Do I like them as much as the Beauty Blender version or any of the other ones? They're pretty close. They're not quite as soft as the e.l.f. one that I love or the Beauty Blender, but they do a really good job and this price point is hard to beat. And then the last product I wanted to give you an update on, I also ordered during the Amazon Prime deal days or whatever they were calling it. It's the Kos RX. COSRX, it's a Korean beauty brand, and it's the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It sounds disgusting. I don't know what it's exactly supposed to do. I've heard it helps with hyperpigmentation and hydration and just generally makes your skin look amazing. Well, ignore the giant zit on the one cheek, and if you haven't noticed it, now you have since I pointed it out. That's a combination of stress, lack of sleep, and a stomach bug. Other than that, I have been using this morning and night in my skincare routine. In the morning, I'll wash my face, I'll put on my toner, and then this is the next step before I go in with all my other stuff. And then at night, I wash my face, I do my uh, toner and then my Retin-A and then this before I go on with all the rest of it. It gave almost like a glass skin look. Like instantly my skin just looked better. I did not find this to be sticky, but then I'm layering a bunch of stuff on on top of it. Someone asked me if there's a smell. There, it's odorless. There's no smell. I'll keep using this, but I've been very impressed with how my skin has reacted to it. There's a moisturizer version of this as well. I'm really set on moisturizer, so I'm gonna stick with just the snail essence. I would really like to know how they harvest that. One pump, perfect amount to spread all over your face, morning and night. Absolutely love it. I've been hearing from all of you that you love it 
as well. That's the Amazon haul for October. Let me know if there are any standouts. If I've missed something, didn't give you the info you needed, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments below. Do check that description box. There's lots of info there. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you like hauls because I've got one more plan for you on Thursday. Just a whole mix of stuff, not from any one specific place. I'm really excited to share with you. So do make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun and I'll see you then. Bye.